Hello, in this tutorial we are going to learn how to add an armature and a skeleton to our character. Uh, to add an armature is the previous step to uh, get uh, animate our character, to make animations to our, our game. Okay, so I have this model, this low poly model, low poly model and uh, we are going to add an armature. We are going to do it in the simpler, simplest way. The minimum, the minimum that we need to uh, to make a game, to make animation for a game. Okay, and the sim, uh, the easiest way is using this uh, add-on. So we we need to install it. We go to user preference, and we go to add-ons and rigging we need to have to install the rigging rigify the rigify atom we just have to click here and that's all and now we can do go add armature human meta rig okay and what we get is a full a skeleton or armature to our character okay is here and we need to scale it so I'm going to push S and scale it we're going to go to this from view and scale a skeleton to make fit with our character okay as I said we are going to do this the simplest way we can and so to get this, I'm going to delete some bones, okay? For example, the hand bones, the fingers, I don't need this now. It's uh, way too complex for now. So I'm going to go to edit mode and I'm going to select all these bones and delete. Select, uh -huh, that way. So, I push deal, delete, and okay. I'm going to do the same thing because the rigify add on as a full uh, skeleton. And to this tutorial, the first one to make a skeleton, we are going to do it simple, easy, fast, and nice. Okay. I'm going to delete the head too because we have a bone for the neck and a bone for the head. I think uh, this model have no neck. So I'm going to use only one bone for both neck and head. Okay, that way. And in the feet, I'm going to delete some bones too. This is some bones that maybe you need if you are going to do something more complex like uh, IK or FK constraints. But for now, just we are going to delete. Okay? Something like that. Other thing that we are going to do is this bone, the hip bones, is the Mm, the center, the main bone, okay? If I move this bone in post mode, I will move the full skeleton, the full armature. So, so this is our main bone. And what we have to do with the main bone is uncheck his default option. So I don't want to this bone to deform my mesh. So I have to go here and and click deform okay that's all one more thing in edit mode we have to uh, make uh, our armature fit with our char character obviously so in edit mode we can uh, rotate and scale the bones to make going to this uh, okay. I want to rotate the the full arm with a pivot uh, pivoting from the shoulder. So I have to push my 3D cursor in the shoulder 
and choose this option 3d cursor pivot point 3d cursor so now oops i want what i do <laughs> sorry okay i push r and i rotate the r i'm going to uh, scale selecting the the one extreme of the bone and I'm, I'm going to put here and this is the hand I'm put here and here okay i'm going i'm going to do the same thing with the right arm like this here here and that's it okay more or less I'm going to push every bone in its correct place and now in the side view we are going to do the same thing make the skeleton fit I'm going to choose X right mode to see the bones through my character okay that's enough so what we are going to do now is to uh, choose the character with the right button and with uh, I press shift I hold press it shift and I click with the right click in the skeleton like this now I push control P and I get this uh, menu and I'm going to choose uh, empty groups empty groups envelopes I'm going to choose envelope weights. Okay, that's it. What happened? Now, if I choose my skeleton and I'm going to pose mode and I rotate a bone, I can see how my character is deformed by my bones, my skeleton. Okay, but not in a good way. As you can see, okay, this is not bad, but the leg, for example, the arm is not uh, deform my character in the right way because uh, I have to uh, correct the the births of my character this process is called skinning I have to assign every birth of my model to the right bone okay because blender uh, usually don't do it automatically uh, right so what I have to do, I have to choose my skeleton and I go into here, no, sorry. I have to go to object mode, choose my character, my mesh and go here. And I have here the vertex groups, okay? The vertex groups, groups are uh, obviously groups of vertex that belong to each bone. So for example, uh, for an arm R dot R okay here uh, I'm going to show names yeah okay in post mode this is uh, for a arm dot R okay so if I go to my character again and I select these back groups in edit mode I push select I can see what what bergs belong to my bone okay this bone uh, have all these birds and this is not right how I how I have to correct it I have to remove all the birds now uh, this bone have no birds okay and now I'm going to select the right birds for the arm is from here more or less until here all these birds and I'm going to assign this bird these bergs groups to this bone okay so I can if I push A to this select and I push select again I can see how it's selected oh I have a, uh, I missed one here so I'm going to repeat remove I'm going to delete and I'm going to ASIC again. A, C, uh, select, okay, that's right. So now, if I move this bone, it's 
a little bit better but I have to correct uh, the hand and the rest of the bones okay I'm going to do it again with the hand so uh, I select my mesh edit mode go to hand.r the right hand and I go to select remove delete all bad bags and as okay I'm going to do the same with the this bone now upper arm dot r is the upper here select oh this is really bad remove and delete but the bats birds the birds that are not well assigned so mm, that way I can correct it later if I miss something but for now it's okay and assign assign okay now if I choose my this bone and I rotate I can see how it's now much better <laughs> this is not uh, perfect yet because maybe this bone is affected or this one is affected to the hand so I have to correct everything until I can see it's working well okay I'm going to stop the the video I'm going to assign everything and I'll come back